wanted to share how I meal plan and how I grocery shop to save the most money. It is a rainy, cold Halloween morning here in Central Illinois. So I am all bundled up and ready to go do our weekly grocery shopping trip. Little man is just finishing up his breakfast, and as soon as he's done with that, we will get him bundled up and we will head out the door. I wanted to share with you guys how I meal plan and grocery shop to save the most money and get the most items that we can to build our pantry and stock our freezers. This is just how I've, how I've done it throughout the years. We have a pretty tight grocery budget, so I try to get I try to get as much bang for my buck. And this is just the way that I have figured out how to do that. So if you have any grocery shopping tips, please send them my way. Put them in the comments. I would love to know. Once you're done eating, we're gonna go grocery shopping. So I always meal plan the day before I go grocery shopping. And the first thing that I do is I go through my fridge and my freezers and my pantry and see what I have that needs used up and come up with meal plan ideas out of the things that I already have so that hopefully I won't have to buy a lot of things at the grocery store. That's always my goal to keep my grocery bill as low as possible. And then it also creates room for me to be able to buy things off of the clearance aisles and stock my pantry off of the other deals that I find, even though I'm not necessarily using those things this week. If it's a good deal and they're on sale or clearance, it just makes sense to me to go ahead and stock up on those things now and then use them in future meal plans. So after I've looked through everything and refreshed my mind with what we have stored, I like to sit down with my planner and my cookbooks and just look through everything and see what kind of meals that I can make out of the things we already have. I have what I like to call a homemaking binder and I keep a lot of different things in it, but I keep all of my favorite recipes that I've found either off Pinterest or magazines that I've ripped out. Um, and it just makes it easy for me to flip through and come up with ideas. And then I look over my week and plan accordingly based on what each day has going on. I also always look through the sale ads for the week to see what kind of good deals I can find and what sale items I want to focus on trying to grab and what the best deals are out there. Okay, so I've gone through and checked everything that I have in my pantries and freezers and sat down and meal planned. So I wanted to go over it with you guys and explain. We are going to do bacon grilled cheese with Tex-Mex tomato black bean soup. And all we need for that is cheese, 
a cheese block to shred for the grilled cheese and sandwich bread. We're gonna do oven baked tostadas with the leftover soup because I know we won't eat all of that that night. And then also some homemade guacamole with all of the avocados <laughs> that I have that need used up. And all we need for that is the lettuce, maple, mustard, chicken thighs with baked potatoes and do not need anything for that one. Ravioli with the sauce and frozen veggies. All we need for that is cream cheese, roast beef po' boys with fries, and we just need the tomatoes and lettuce, but we also need the same lettuce for that. So these lettuces are gonna be one head of lettuce. And then with the um, leftover roast beef, I'm going to make a beef vegetable soup with cabbage and then buttered bread. And we need the cabbage and bread, but that bread is going to also be the bread that I need for the grilled cheese, so one loaf. And so that is what we will be doing for dinner. Dinners are always the most um, most work. It takes the most planning. Um, breakfasts are always very similar for us. Um, we're gonna do eggs and avocado toast. We have all those avocados and we will have the bread. Um, we have stuff for smoothies, if that sounds good. And we will also have stuff for egg sandwiches. So that's what our breakfast will be. And then for lunch, um, we can do a couple salami and cheese sandwiches with chips or veggies. I have the rolls in the freezer and all the leftover salami and cheese from a little get together that we had. And then I always just eat leftovers for my lunch and um, I'll pack a little thing for Joey to bring for work. And if we run out of stuff for lunch, we also have frozen pizzas. So we have plenty of stuff for breakfast and lunches. So after meal planning, the only new stuff that I have to buy is a block of cheddar cheese, the sandwich bread, a head of lettuce, one thing of cream cheese, a couple of tomatoes, and a head of cabbage. Like that is all that I would need for this entire week. This is stuff that I have to buy weekly. Like I know that I'm gonna have to buy this regardless. Always need milk, a thing of almond milk for him too. And we always need to get some eggs because we use quite a bit of eggs. Um, typically breakfast is always eggs. I stock my pantry off of sale deals and also clearance items that I find when I go to Kroger. So for me, this is absolutely the cheapest way that I can feed my family is by meal planning this way. After checking the ads, this is what I picked out for what I would like to um, add to my shopping list. Okay, first stop at Aldi. Got my quarter, got my bags. Got my baby. Let's go get what we need here and then price compare some things at Kroger and then head to Kroger. second stop Kroger's it's like really busy here so we'll see what kind of deals we can find and hopefully they still have everything that I wanted of the sale items so let's go buddy so I spent $27.90 at Aldi and I spent $53.66 at Kroger's so right around $80 I like to keep our budget between 50 and 75, so we went a little bit over, but that's okay. So if you remember, this was my items here that I needed for the meals that I planned. So as far as um, like meal planning goes and what I really needed, these here are the items. And then for what I need weekly, I need my two things of milk for Lucas, a thing of milk for us, Lucas's almond milk, and our eggs and I had a 40 cents off coupon which did end up making these eggs slightly cheaper than Aldi. I also found these ground pork for 50% off so they ended up being 
around $2.15 each. So I grabbed two of those to stick in my freezer. And then I checked and the cheese is cheaper for the sale at Kroger than it was at Aldi by about 20 cents. So I stocked up on some cheeses to put in my freezer too. And I also checked the butter prices. And with the sale, it ended up being, um, I think, 30 cents cheaper per butter at Kroger. I got them for $3.49 each, I believe. So I went ahead and got four of those. I got three avocados for 69 cents each. Bag of avocados, did I just call those avocados? Mangoes. <laughs> A bag of avocados for $1.99. These were two for three at Kroger, and I also had an 80 cents off coupon, so I got them for about $2.20. And for my clearance items, I found two of these bacon. They actually had quite a few, but I just grabbed two for $3.49, regularly $7.99. I found some of these spices for 99 cents, normally $2.49. And I just ran out of parsley, so that was perfect timing. So I grabbed two parsley and one oregano. These coffee cakes were $1.79 each, normally $3.50. This big bag of blueberry oats and honey granola. I got it for $3.29, normally $6.49. Some snacks for Lucas. $1.99, normally $3.99. And then this isn't food, but 99 cents, normally $7.19. That's a crazy good deal. And these cups will be perfect for him. He's drinking out of straws. And um, yeah, just perfect little cups for him. And us, if we're honest, like it's a decent sized little travel cup. 99 cents for a six pack. That I thought was an amazing deal. So for this week's grocery haul, I spent $80 and this is what I got. So all of this gets to go into the freezer. It's a nice little stock up from this week and it's all good deals that I found. And it'll help with future meal planning. So let's get it put away.